welcome to my channel so my name is Jade and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a simple and easy way to flip and unflip your septum piercing seriously this has been an absolute lifesaver I remember when I first got my septum piercing I was so nervous because I technically wasn't allowed at mum and dad were like don't you ever get that but I had wanted it literally since I was 13 and I wrestled up the courage I think when I was about 19 or 20 to get it. I've had it for over two years now, so I'm very well educated and have very much flipped it in and out all the time. So I feel like I can provide you guys with a very good example of how to flip and how to unflip. Also, towards the end of this video, I am going to be doing a little life update slash QA about me so you guys can get to know me. Feel free to hang around. Before we get into the actual flipping of the piercing, I do got I do want to let you know a few things. So the size of my septum piercing is eight millimeters, so I believe that is the gauge or the sizing. I know a lot of people in the comments section last time popped a lot of advice down there and they said to let the piercer know if you are intending to flip the piercing to let them know that you want to do that. Not entirely sure. I think it helps with like the healing process and stuff, but maybe just speak to them. Also, the first time I ever flipped my septum piercing, I had only had it for three days. I was trying to do it on the first day before mum came home from work and then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to tell her. But I know a lot of people need to hide it from work, from school their friends and that's why I had to do it for school and also I like the idea of being able to flip and unflip it typically if I'm wearing a full face of makeup I'll keep it flipped and then if I'm not and I'm wearing no makeup at all I'll just chuck it down because I prefer that kind of look also I have a bajillion different jewelry colors on at the moment but how good are these necklaces I've just been hand wrapping them myself and then I just literally love the whole look so we're trying it out <laughs> so as you can see my septum piercing is quite small that is what I wanted I just kind of wanted the two little balls to hang out at the front that's the kind of vibe that I like I know that you can get a lot bigger you can get the ones that just go all the way around that are a little bit more subtle I'm not sure if you can even flip them I don't think you can so if you do want one that you can hide this is a very good option as well so without further ado and rambling let's get into how you can easily flip and unflip your septum piercing I'm gonna run you through a few tips that seriously helped me massively when first flipping my septum piercing because at the start it was a little bit harder but now it is so easy to flip in and flip out so the first thing you're going to want to do before you're flipping your septum piercing is get in the shower or be over a warm steamy misting bowl because that will loosen up the cartilage in here and make it easier to flip because sometimes it can feel a little bit stiff so Definitely do that. That's what I had to do the first few times that I was flipping mine and it made it so much easier. Second tip is always ensure that your hands are clean. Use hand sanitizer or wash them because you don't want anything dirty to be around your nose. So make sure that you're washing your hands regularly and being hygienic. You should always be doing that anyway. Just a little tip. Also, just because I flipped up my septum piercing and had no infections within the first three days, doesn't mean that you won't so just be careful and mindful as well because it ain't my fault <laughs> everyone's different so you never never know the next tip is to always ensure that your septum piercing has the two little balls that are always in the middle you don't want it to be flipped to the side because obviously that you can't flip so make sure that it is in the middle if I lift my nose you can see them there the next tip is to literally make an ugly face to flip your septum this is the easiest way to do it because if you're relaxed like this it just kind of gets stuck and doesn't go so you need to kind of make that smaller so this is the face that you're going to make it's literally just pulling your lips together and spreading out your nostrils but you'll see that that makes it so much easier the next thing you're going to do is i usually just grab these two fingers here make that ugly face and then literally just tuck the balls because what you want is you want those little balls to tuck right up in here so we're going to do it on the count of three. One, two, three. and then you can just flip your fingers around because that will help the balls literally be completely gone but that seriously is so easy the first time you might have a little bit of a struggle but that is fine so I'm gonna flip it down quickly I'll show you guys in detail how to do that in a second but let's go through that again so make that ugly face and literally tuck it and then you can twist your fingers 
to make it sure that it's gone and ensure that the balls are tucked right up otherwise you'll find a little bit of discomfort if it's sitting on that cartilage bone there so now it is time to flip the septum piercing down so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that once you want your septum piercing back down I seriously find it so convenient that you can flip it up and flip it down it's like you have two different looks in one such a great piercing to have because if you get sick of it you can just tuck it away and it's all good. How to get it down is what you're going to do is make the ugly face again and pretty much just do everything in reverse. So what you do, the ugly face, feel for those balls inside. Just remember if it's a fresh piercing this might be a little bit painful. And what you're going to do, look at my face, do that face, feel the balls, make sure it's centered as well because I can feel mine is a little bit more to one side so you're just going to push it the other way and pull those balls down until they're literally even otherwise you're gonna have a bit of struggle to get that up and then grab the two sides where you have a good grip make the face and slide it out so it's pretty much just a tuck and untuck tuck and untuck i hope that helped you flip flip and unflip but now let's get into a few different questions so that you guys can get to know me a little bit but top um low-key a little bit weird so Heads up. So I'm just going to go through some common Q&A questions. So how old are you? So I am currently 23 years old. I am born in August, which makes me a Leo. And I am through and through a Leo. I am very strong-minded, strong-headed. I'm quite a confident person, I would say, but it didn't always used to be like that. I feel like I struggled with shyness and confidence through school, but I feel like after having a job in customer service doing people's makeup where I had to be like one-on-one -on -one and chatting to everyone, I feel like now I can literally chat to anyone. Am I an introvert or an extrovert? I feel like I can kind of play both. I do love my alone time and I used to not value it and enjoy it as much. I would get really anxious, but now I can just chill out and be super relaxed. The only thing is with my alone time is I usually will try and keep myself busy and because I work from home and work for myself, I find that I will just constantly try and do work when I need to take a rest and just like chill out and do nothing. And then if I'm watching TV or I'm always like on my phone, like bringing up TikToks or Instagram because I just need like so much stimulation, which is crazy. Do you live at home or do you live out of home? So I am living out of home. So I've been out of home for just over a year. It's actually just hit the anniversary of when I moved into this space. But if you guys have been watching my YouTube channel for a while, this is actually the childhood home that I grew up in. So I rent off my parents. They are my landlords, which is amazing because no rent inspections and having a dog so i have a dog his name is onyx he's a kelpie and going through that puppy stage he has been absolutely crazy will i get any more piercings <sighs> i don't know that is such a hard one never say never i feel like there's a few more earring ones that i would get but i am scarred from my helix experience and also i used to have my dave pierce but i took it out i felt like it just felt very very crowded and i used to have my thirds done i think i actually tried to do it myself with an eb piercing gun crazy but inflicting the pain on myself wasn't too great but I did pierce a few other friends ears and they went well probably don't try that advice at home but <laughs> I literally think it was like $15 what do you do for work so for work like I was saying I work for myself so I have my business called a little tame and I have been running that for about 10 months but before that I had Tried to go to uni, didn't like it to study business. I'd worked at Mecca for a few years. I'd done cosmetic nursing, so I'm technically an enrolled nurse. I just don't practice. What else have I done? I used to be in hospitality, worked at Macca's for my second job. So I've done a few different jobs and dipped my toe in a few different places, but now I am living the dream, doing exactly what I want, having the flexibility and the creativity to do whatever I want within the business and the goal at the moment is to expand and grow and scale so I'm trying to teach myself that and then I keep myself busy on social media through my Instagram a little tame and that's the business Instagram but I also use that to share different passions through there like self-love and self-growth which I'm super super passionate about I have the YouTube channel I've been quite inactive on here for a little bit but I'm definitely getting back into it I've just been busy and having a lot of changes going on in the background which I will certainly mention in a few more months there's a little secret <laughs> 
Also, I do have a podcast called A Little Jade. I have been unactive on that or inactive on that for a little bit as well, but I'm getting back into it a bit more with a vision and a proper intro to make it more professional. I feel like before I just kind of rushed into it and was feeling not as creative and inspired because I ended up deactivating my personal Instagram because I was right into kind of like the influencing, doing like the fashion, getting dressed up, taking the pictures. But I just feel like I kind of outgrew that and was feeling very uninspired and uncreative, which is not fun because I also didn't like the aspect of everyone just watching and constantly feeling like I had a lot of pressure on me and it didn't feel like supportive, it felt like nosy and they were always wanting more and it wasn't coming from a place of like love and passion. So I decided, look, this isn't making me feel good so I'm going to do something that makes me feel good and yeah, haven't looked back and feel absolutely great about it. So, so that is my little update and you guys got to know me better. If you'd like to follow along on my journey and make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also give this video a thumbs up and if you have any questions regarding anything just leave them down below and I will definitely get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!